This is one of the most iconic sites in South Bend, an important travel route for the Native Americans, trade route for the Europeans, and then at the peak of industrial times in South Bend, this is what powered the city. This was a site that effectively made South Bend what it is today. The reason this project existed is some people before us had the forethought to think about bringing hydropower back to this site. Um, back in 1984 when they put in the fish ladder, the city and a consulting engineer working for them at his sort of recommendation pursued an exemption which they got from FERC. Having that made it a lot easier project for us to start. And it was part of our long range plan as we were looking for renewable energy opportunities to reduce our carbon footprint. Anytime we talk about green infrastructure, that is a, a critical part of making our community sustainable at large. Notre Dame is obviously a big player in that and is our, one of the largest employers in the region. And anything they can do to reduce their carbon footprint benefits us all. Water enters at the southern tip of the park. There's three tunnels, uh, 14 feet high, 16 feet wide, sitting side by side that channel that water down under the park around the fish ladder where we have what we call a fine screen ahead of the turbines that keeps debris out, but also as a way to protect the fish that might choose to migrate upstream or downstream. You then go down a ramp, which achieves the head of the dam itself, which is a 13-foot head, that then feeds in these five channels to our 10 turbines. We're producing 480 volt electricity from each of those turbines. They come back into a control building, we get aggregated together. We step them up outside with a transformer and have a transmission line that's about two miles long that goes back to campus and tie the power back into our grid there. It's projected that it'll produce about 7% of the electricity we use on campus and it'll account for about a 10,000 ton uh, CO2 reduction on an annual basis. So that's fairly significant for us. Anytime we get to partner with the University of Notre Dame on a project, we know it's going to be done right. Notre Dame doesn't cut corners, and so we're always pleased to look at efforts that are mutually beneficial for both Notre Dame and the city in a way that moves us all forward. This is a great example of that. It's been a, a good partnership that will serve to benefit both the city and Notre Dame for generations yet to come.